Good morning, class. Make sure you log on. I see AI as a helper. AI can do a lot of cool stuff. And I think that it, if it's used wisely, it can take your students to new heights. Stay Tuned presents The Learning Shift, classrooms reimagined in the wake of disruption. Sponsored by Walton Family Foundation. Artificial intelligence is changing the trajectory of one group of students at an all-boys academy in Pittsburgh. Whatever lesson he assigned to you, make sure you ask them this question so they can get feedback. Schools across the country are facing the disruption of major budget cuts, teacher shortages, and a lack of resources. Mr. Robeson's class is one of many turning to artificial intelligence to transform education. Students in general at this age definitely need accountability. If I, if I liked you more, I would make it a nice, Fancy night. Yeah, right. Being one teacher with 20 students, it's hard to tell who's struggling or not. My name is Daniel Caldwell, and I am 12 years old. You want me to show you my process? Yes, I would love to show the process. Yeah. I am in ninth grade, and we are currently learning absolute value functions. Many schools already use computer programs to teach math. Teachers here are using Carnegie Mellon University's artificial intelligence-driven plus tutoring program to give kids an extra boost. Math is like one of my weakest subjects. I think math is a very difficult thing and I would love if it was just easy. The hybrid tutoring system combines both human tutors and machine learning. Research lead Danielle Thomas says that's the key to success. We know that human tutoring works. We know that a human sitting down with a child and going over math is impactful and effective. We also know that when students log in to math software um, and use it regularly, they will see learning gains. We are focusing on combining both humans and the math software programs to give all students the type of support they need for math. So in this option, if you'll see, College math students video conference with the students during class to offer support. You can find quality trained tutors that are anywhere nationally that can provide help and support to students when they need it, which is during the school day. The AI will flag when a student is struggling. It's very thorough in how it teaches. It gives examples, gives videos, and it'll tell you what you did wrong and how you should do better. Then, tutors engage with students and walk through problems to get them back on track. When you may have trouble with a subject or just a problem in general, the same users will break it down for you, make it more digestible. They let you do problems on your own and then they come back and review them with you. It's a hands-on experience. See, you got it right. Did you understand what, uh, what we did there? Kind of, yeah. Okay, okay, we'll try again, don't worry. And the AI sends that information back to Mr. Roberson. I get a report on each student. They'll give me five areas that they worked on. I'll give them something that they did really well on so that they can get working, build up their confidence, and then I'll stick something in there that they need help with. Then we'll, we'll have a, a contest, a race. You in on this? You in? You in? All right, let's go. We do a lot of competitions. We make it fun. Winners get Mike and Ike's highest score. They're less likely to give up if they're trying to win something. They're more willing to stick with it. Oh, what do you got? Oh, you got to come back. Okay, okay. The school is also experimenting with different methods to individualize the learning. The AI guides tutors to help students who score lower on math tests, while students with higher scores learn more when they try problems on their own first and ask for help only if needed. Struggling produces perseverance, and perseverance is a good quality to have and struggling also increases the learning. It makes it more meaningful if you have to work harder for it. Research shows combining the intelligence of machine learning with a human element helps students learn better. A recent study of 1,800 students from underserved communities found that with the help of AI, students were more likely to master math topics, tutors were better at guiding students, and responded better to student needs. For both Jarrell and Daniel, the extra help has had a big impact. I'm in seventh grade, but I'm doing eighth grade math. So we're testing them out in eighth grade math and they're really holding their own. The PLUS project is in a dozen school districts across Pennsylvania, West Virginia, New York, and Oregon. 
serving several thousand students. No, the more money you make, yeah, the more tax. And while some teachers worry whether AI could replace them, it's not something Mr. Robeson puts a lot of stock into. I still think you need the human element in the classroom. For him and his students, AI isn't a concern. It's a game changer in the classroom. You guys ready? More hands on deck, the better. We talk life. We talk life. We respect life. We respect life. Who are we? We are life.